Hello students, I hope you all are preparing well for the upcoming CUET exam that is scheduled to be held in March 2024 and not many days are left for the exam. It's high time now and I think you all have prepared well. So uh, to make you aware about the pattern of the exam and to make you familiarize with the way in which questions can be asked from a particular topic and to let you know about the important topics we at Agar Revision for you are back with another uh, uh, sequel of our previous year question series so this is part 11 stay connected for uh, next uh, parts and uh, i'm divyanshu gupta your mentor for msc food science and technology where we discussed everything which is related to your cut exam for food science and technology so coming straight away to the first question we have chemical sterilization for the packaging film can be done through which of the following methods so let us identify why packaging film needs to be sterilized see the thing is food industry is mainly focused on processing of your food products and not making of the packaging material so usually packaging material is third party source so some other manufacturing some polymer manufacturing company or some paper company is usually manufacturing the packaging material and there can be a chance that there may be some chemicals which are sticking on their surface which may be harmful for the food material so before we going uh, before we are going for packaging of the food material we are going for sterilization of that packaging so that it does not have any of microbes or any of the chemical residues left on its surface so for it uh, various options are given so straight away i'll tell you the right option that is treatment with glycol at high temperature is the most usually and commercially and economically safe method which is used in industry so fourth is the right answer for this question coming to the next question we have which of the following instrument is used to predict the amount of water to be added to the floor to get consistent texture of the dough during mixing so the people who have uh, been attending the classes they know that we have already covered this topic in the class and farinograph is the right answer for this question and uh, farinograph is usually used to predict the amount of water that should be added and uh, using farinograph only you will test which floor is best for your product because some products uh, need higher moisture of the dough some products need uh, lower moisture content in the dough so for that you can test it off using your farinograph so coming on to the next question we have it is a statement based question so either the statements can be right or the statements can be wrong so first is refrigeration takes less energy to cool a food just above its freezing point than to freeze it it is right why i'll tell you because see the larger the gap of temperature that means let us assume some food material is at 25 degrees celsius right now and you want to make it to minus 18 degrees celsius so gap is quite large and let's assume some food is at 25 degrees celsius and you want it to be at 8 degrees celsius so the gap is less so refrigeration will take less energy to cool a food but because that decrease in temperature will be very fast in this case than it is in this case so refrigeration will take less energy to cool a food product just above its freezing point than to freeze it then coming on to the next we have refrigerated products have to be thawed before use so by reading only we can determine that this is a wrong statement because only frozen foods need to be thawed refrigerated foods to already are at their uh, ambient conditions and all a process that may take as long as 48 hours and also we know thawing does not take this much long duration around 30 minutes to one hour or maximum maximum two hours is enough for a product to be thawed in case of last frozen food so statement one is right and statement two is wrong so this makes third answer as the right option for this question Then we have next egg shell is primarily made up of a very simple question and even the people who have pets at their home like dogs and also it is usually advised that you mix your egg shells in their diet so that they can have enough amount of calcium so calcium carbonate is the right answer for this question egg shell is primarily made up of the outer covering of the egg this is made up of your calcium carbonate then Coming on to the next question, we have arranged the processing steps of candy making in correct sequence. So before attempting this question, I want to make you all aware that candy is something different from your ideal food material. That means the processing steps will be quite different. You cannot generalize any type of cooking with candy making. That means first you have to go for mixing. Then you have to go for cooking. 
then you have to go for molding and then you have to go for cutting and then you have to go for packaging. That means your fourth is the right answer for this question. That means C, A, D, E, B. That is the correct sequence in which the questions, your options should be arranged. Then which of the following is primarily used in the preparation of texturized vegetable protein? So it is not that much uh, common question but uh, since it is a topic of uh, research right now and you can see that many of the com uh, companies are right now investing uh, highly in texturized vegetable protein and plant-based meats and all so soybean is the ideal source of them and uh, soy chops and all they are very common in uh, markets apart from that jackfruit can be used in some cases because of its fibrous and similar appearance to just like of meat fibers but it cannot be completely replicated but soybean is something which can be used in a better way as compared to the other sources which are given so second is the right answer for this question then which of the following protein fractions are present in higher amounts in the wheat germ than in endosperm? So ideally they are telling about wheat germ than about the whole structure of your wheat. So albumin and globulin right away, straight away, right answer for this question. So A and B are the right answers for this question. Coming on to the next, we have statement based question so the amount of invert sugar in finished good quality jam should be 30 to 50 percent that is right and if invert sugar is greater than 50 percent in finished jam sugar will get crystallized it is wrong because see first of all invert sugar will not get crystallized and greater than 50 percent also will not get crystallized because it needs something around more than 70 or 60 percent 50 percent is considerable even 65% is usually advised. So first is right, second is wrong. So statement one is correct and second is incorrect. So third is the right answer for this question. And here we come to the end of our part 11. I hope you understood all the questions and if you want to uh, be aware about the next uh, question, so stay connected with us for the part 12. We'll be very soon posting them. And if in case you have any doubt or query in any of the questions which is being showed in this video or apart from uh, these questions you may comment on your queries we'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts and if you want a deeper insight on any of the topic you can connect with me i'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts and if you want to join our course you can contact on the given number the people will be very happy to uh, make you aware about all the procedures which are related to them and uh, uh, we at agrivision are uh, helping you to prepare for other exams apart from CUT like your CFT and gate. So for then also you can contact on the given number and they'll be uh, guiding you with all the process related to the course. So that was all for part 11. Stay connected for part 12 and subscribe and like and uh, you can very easily share this video to all of your friends who are right now preparing for CUT exam in order to help them. So that was all for today's video and we'll meet in the next part. Thank you all.